So, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to our new session. Today I will discuss about the 3G standard UV trace and what are the contents of the trace messages, the important ones. So it will help you to analyze and you can find important um, important elements of the user, where he is connected, in which lag, and what is his MZ. You can find out from that trace. So let's go to a single user trace manager. I have already opened it. So uh, you have to select the standard UV trace and and I have chosen one of my previous traces and double click on it then I will get my messages so you will see the first message is actually the RC connection request message this is the first message actually sent uh, like from here you see from UV to uh, from UV to node B this message was sent so uh, uh, let's see what's inside the message okay so you will see the the MCC and MNC that is assigned for this um, this, is, this is for the UV this is actually the network M MCC and MNC this is the lag and this is the primary ICNO this is the actually the ICNO that is called the RC ICNO this is not, not the main RC ICNO actually the main ICNO value is when the, from the monitor cell when a cell is selected from RRC so RRC connection request so this is the PSC of that cell that the U is camping on so the scrambling code is 18 and the ICNO is 19 so here 19 means it is not actually this is the reported value so this 19 actually doesn't mean that the ICNO value is 19 this means actually you have to calculate the ICNO which is the reported value divided by 2 so which actually comes around uh, 9.5 so um, other than that not much on this um, uh, RC connection request message this is uh, some like a uh, small thing that, that the UV supports um, HSDP and HSUP HSDCH and EDCH and nothing else so we can go to the next message let's see which is the RRC connection setup message okay this is actually from um, this is sent to the UV okay this this contains some uh, network element information basically this content actually about the channels and everything that uh, the RNC is communicating with the UV that these channels are available and these are the uh, criteria of the channel so this is also not very much helpful for you to analyze so let's go to the next most important uh, message this is RC connection connection setup complete message from here actually you can get um, a few important parameters I will show you uh, like the most important thing actually you have to go to the end of the com end of the uh, trace message of this uh, uh, UV RRC connection setup complete message actually which contains the UV category which actually we all uh, we always search for when uh, we analyze a customer complaint we search for uh, regarding the throughput so actually we check that uh, the UV category the EV is of which category so from this message you can actually see uh, the UV category which is um, 24 UV category 24 which is a very higher category which supports dual carrier 16 qualm and everything so like from uh, so uh, from this message actually uh, the RRC connection setup complete message you can actually get mainly we focus on the UV category uh, value you can find from here so another important message is uh, this is actually the RRC measurement control this is actually the measurement report 
that is sent to UV on a regular basis. Here you can see from different uh, like scrambling code uh, that is um, different uh, neighbors that is reported to this cell. Like this is the PSC 18 is reporting. Then you will find PSC 247, PSC 192. These all the neighbor cells that is reporting to the uh, to the UV that are uh, these are the neighbors so let's go to the next message which is RRC initial direct transfer message so actually this message is has not much many much uh, content so go next go to them this is also initial UV message is very important this actually contains the lack and SAC or you can say lack and cell ID. Usually we map the lack uh, SAC with the cell ID like you will see. And uh, this is the lack and SAC that the UV is currently camping on the cell. So these values are, are very important. Like uh, if you want to check this, uh, this UV is on which lack and which cell ID or which SAC, you can directly go to the, uh, let go to this message which is uh, the ran app initial uv message from there actually you can find out the uv is camping on which lag and sec and also you will find uh, which service type he is using he is currently using data of obviously this is the current scenario so he is using the data and he is under rnc2 for this network so from this message you can get this type of uh, important um, outcomes uh, another uh, important message is ran up common id from here actually you get the imz of uh, this uv nothing else uh, nothing else from this message you get the imz so let's go to another important message let's see oh another important message is Rev assignment request. This actually mainly contain about the, um, the RRC request uh, that uh, the network, the core network is assigning or what are the important aspects um, they are sending to the UV. So one of the main thing is the traffic class and the max bit rate. You see, so actually the uh, uh, the network is assigning you the traffic class background uh, for your service it can be interactive it can be streaming and other uh, service also but current, this one is actually background and max bitrate and downlink is this value which is uh, max bitrate is 8.64 mbps and uh, uplink is uh, 1.2 mbps Another uh, as another things are there and not much are from here actually. Uh, oh, another thing is uh, you can see the PDP type, which is actually IPv4. So uh, let's go to the message next message, which is RRC R base at a message. Uh, actually, this one actually not very much helpful for us because this uh, this contains mainly the channel channel what are the channel conditions and, and everything. So mm, let's see about uh, rev assignment response. Actually, this response message is uh, um, the current UV is. Uh, logged into which channel or what is the web id and everything it contains only those things so not very much important so i think we can go to the release request okay so from here actually from the release request you can get the cause of the release sometimes it's normal sometimes it's abnormal 
so from the release request and uh, you can find that why the ue is uh, requesting for the release request is it normal or is it abnormal so here you see the release due to ue generated signaling connection so ue is actually uh, uh, trying to release the connection maybe maybe call is finished though, or maybe the um, data or the session is finished so he is requesting for the release so you will find in the complaint message it's a normal release uh, you will see here mm, I'm sorry not this one actually release here you see the RRC release call is normal event so this is a normal release uh, if you if there is a call drop or session drop or service drop and you when you analyze the release cause if it it was not normal at abnormal release you will find the release cause abnormal release and there will be a, a release a cause number here okay so this actually will complete actually the main main significant message contents of a single user trace so feel free to answer a question uh, feel free to ask any question if you want so thank you for now